Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to discuss the basic concepts of the building code, electrical code, electronics code, traffic, and road signs. Before we dive into our discussion, I have two questions for you. Do you have any family members who work in community development or management? If you had the chance to explore a career in industrial arts, which path would you choose and why? Do you know the story of the three little pigs? I will tell you the story. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who set out on their own to build their homes. The first little pig was very lazy. He quickly built his house out of straw, thinking it would be easy and fast. The second little pig was a bit more ambitious. He built his house out of sticks, thinking it would be stronger than straw. The third little pig was the most ambitious of all. He built his house out of bricks, thinking it would be the strongest of all. One day, a big bad wolf came to the neighborhood. He was looking for a tasty meal, and his eyes landed on the three little pigs. The wolf went to the first little pig's house made of straw and huffed and puffed. The straw house easily blew down, and the first little pig ran to the second little pig's house. The wolf followed and went to the second little pig's house made of sticks. He huffed and puffed again, and the stick house blew down. The two little pigs ran to the third little pig's house. The wolf followed again and went to the third little pig's house made of bricks. He huffed and puffed with all his might, but no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't blow down the brick house. Frustrated and defeated, the wolf gave up and went away. The three little pigs lived safely in the brick house, and they learned that hard work and preparation are important for protecting oneself from harm. For the questions. Number one. Who were the main characters and were their qualities? Number two. Were their houses built upon? Number three. What happened to the main characters when confronted by the wolf? Number four. Can you relate the story in real life? In what area or areas can you compare it? For the basic requirements of residential construction, we have Philippine Electrical Code, or PEC. It is a set of standards and regulations that govern the safe and proper installation, operation, and maintenance of electrical systems in the Philippines. It provides guidelines for electrical design, wiring, equipment selection, grounding, protection, and other related aspects to ensure electrical safety and efficiency. For the objectives of Philippine Electrical Code. Number one, safe use of electricity. To establish basic materials quality and electrical work standards for the safe use of electricity for light, heat, power, communications, signaling, and for other purposes. Number two, adequacy. Strict compliance with the provisions of this code will ensure safety in electrical installation and construction, but not necessarily efficient, convenient, or adequate for good service or future expansion of electrical use. The use of PEC is mandated by RA 7920, formerly RA 184, also known as the New Electrical Engineering Law. Likewise, referral codes are also used which are mandated by their corresponding laws. Number 1. PD 1096 National Building Code Number 2. PD 1185 Fire Code of the Philippines Number 3. Structural Code RA 7920 is an act providing for a more responsive and comprehensive regulation for the practice, licensing, and registration of electrical engineers and electricians. For government authorities who implement PEC, one office of the building official, two office of the city electrician, city electrical supervising engineer, three office of the municipal electrician, municipal electrical supervising engineer, four regional office of the dole. The local building officials are responsible in enforcing the provisions of the Philippine Electrical Code as indicated in RA 7920, Sector 39 and PD 1096, Sections 205 and 1301. The role of the Bureau of Fire Protection, BFP, as per provisions of the Republic Act No. 9514-3, Fire Code regarding electrical systems is to enforce the provisions of the Fire Code, particularly Section 7.8.1, to ensure that there are no violations as per Section 8.B. It has no legal authority on the design of electrical system. For permits and inspection certificates, a permit is required before undertaking any electrical installation. An inspection is also required after which Certificate of Final Electrical Inspection, CFEI, is issued by the authority. Here are the exceptions. A permit is not required for Number 1. The installation of electrical portable equipment rated not more than 1,200 VA or voltage ampere. Number 2. Reconnection of disconnected service due to non-payment of electric bill 
or change of occupants for a period of one year. Philippine Electrical Code Section 1. General Rules 1.1 Purpose of Rules The primary purpose of these rules is to establish, for the Republic of Philippines, uniform standards, regulations and requirements for electronics and communications design, planning manufacture, production, fabrication, construction, installation, operation, and maintenance, the application of which will ensure adequate protection and safety to persons therein engaged and as well as in the provision, operation, and use of electronics and or communications. Components, devices, equipment, systems, plants, stations, services, and or facilities. Application of the rules will also establish an acceptable level of protection for electronics and communication devices, equipment, and plant from damages due to electrical and or physical hazards. Section 3. General Electrical Protection and Grounding Requirements 3.1. General Requirement Electrical protection measures covered in this code are directed against the effects of lightning, accidental contact with power lines, voltages slash electromagnetically slash electrostatically induced into communication circuits by normal or fault currents in parallel runs of power lines and, also, local earth potential rises due to the flow of lightning or power fault currents. 3.1.1 Objective Communication systems are subject to electrical hazards from exposure to lightning and power systems, and unless adequate protection measures are employed, such exposures may result in loss of life, service interruptions, and excessive maintenance expense. The primary considerations of electrical protection are, number one, to minimize, as far as practicable, electrical hazards to persons engaged in construction, operation, maintenance, or use of communication systems. Number two, to reduce, as far as practicable, damage to equipment and plant. Number three, to eliminate, as far as practicable, any fire hazard resulting from the operation of communication systems, and number four, to minimize, as far as practicable, acoustic shock hazards to anyone using communication services. Government agencies tasked to implement Philippine Electronic Code, the Department of Interior and Local Government, DILG, Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH, Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, and Department of Trade and Industry, DTI goes hand-in-hand hand for Joint Memorandum Circular Number 2018-2001 to dated January 4, 2018, Guidelines and Streamlining the Process for the Issuance of Building Permits and Certificates of Occupancy. Going to and from the school, what traffic signs do you commonly see? Road traffic signs and symbols. Road traffic signs and symbols serve as visual indicators intended to direct drivers and pedestrians safely to their destinations. These markers provide directions, warnings, or instructions that both drivers and pedestrians must heed while on public roads. While most signs are located at the side of the street, some can also be positioned above roads or on pavements, bridges, and even on the roads themselves. Traffic signs in the Philippines are created to be straightforward, prominent, and easily comprehensible. They are typically displayed in large letters or depicted as clear pictures or symbols. To ensure understanding among locals, some signs are translated into Filipino or the local dialect. Overall, these signs are meticulously designed to avoid any misinterpretation of their meanings. Here are the complete list of road traffic signs and symbols in the Philippines. The traffic signs are divided into eight categories, namely 1. Regulatory signs 2. Warning signs 3. Guider information signs 4. Signs on expressways 5. Traffic instruction signs 6. Hazard Markers 7. Road Work Signs 8. Pavement Markings This concludes our discussion. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to your participation in our next discussion.